Hello and welcome to UE Tips for you. So in this tutorial we will set up our animation modifiers for applying automated for sync markers to our animation. For example, here is our walk loop animation and we want to apply the foot sync markers to each foot when our foot crosses the root bone or planted to the ground for properly blending our animations. We can manually place the foot sync markers by right clicking and add notifiers but it is very tedious process for applying manually foot sync marker for each of the animation. So we will automate this process by using animation modifier and create our animation modifier class like so and here we will apply our modi a animation modifier class and apply modifier like so so here is both right foot and left foot markers for each of my foot applied automatically and let's here we open our run forward loop animation and apply the same process over here and here you guys can see my right foot and left foot sync markers created automatically so let's get started guys so here in our content browser i'm gonna right click and create a new blueprint class and search for animation from all classes search for animation modifier like so i'm gonna call this tutorial underscore foot sync now let's open our blueprint class and here we have two functions that we can use on apply and on revert so we're gonna use on apply event I'm gonna promote the animation sequence to a variable call this any sequence like so and after that we're gonna search for add notify track here is our add animation notify track animation sequence will be this and the notified track name will be foot sync notify like so so by applying this functionality we have created the animation notified track let's check the result here is my animation data modifier tab I'm gonna click on add modifier and search for tut foot sync marker that we just created over here and remove all of my previous tracks and here apply modifier so here is our modifier applied and if the notified track doesn't appear we're gonna insert notified track so here is our foot sync notify track and we're gonna remove all of our previous tracks like so so by applying our modifier here is our foot sync notified track created now we will implement the foot sync marker logic for this i'm gonna search for for loop for loop the start index will be zero and the last index will be the how many number of frames in our animation so I'm gonna grab my animation variable and search for get number of frames and connect this to a last frame last index of my loop so we're gonna traverse each of our animation frame and then I'm gonna promote the index to a variable call this index like so so for getting the foot location I'm gonna search for get bone position for frame here so get bone position for frame will give the value in our local space but if you need to convert this to a component space 
we have to convert the local space to component space manually so for converting this local space position to component space we are gonna use the node find bone path to root so find bone path to root blueprint native node get all bones which connect a given bone to the root in the bone tree and once obtained the bone chain it composes the bone transform starting from the leaf bone and stopping at the reference bone so it is important to compose transform traversing the tree from the leaf to the root this guarantees to apply all parent transforms to each bone in the chain so I'm gonna use this node animation sequence will be this and the leaf bone that we're gonna traverse for the root bone tree and the leaf bone will be our foot underscore r so here is our foot bone foot r we're gonna search for each of our bone and end at the root bone for creating the transform of current bone in our component space so here is our number of bones that appear in this hierarchy I'm gonna traverse each of my bone and search for for each loop with break like so and if the array element given bone is equal to root bone which means that our hierarchy ends and we're gonna break the for loop here so if this is equal to our root bone then we're gonna break the loop like so so here is our for each loop setup now here is the number of bones that appear in this hierarchy so each of the bone will go here and the animation sequence will be this frame will be our index I'm gonna create a new variable and call the to transform like so so here is our transform variable created I'm gonna set after the for loop each frame we're gonna reset the transform like so each frame of the animation we will set up the transform to zero zero like so so here is our transform variable created and each of the value is zero for example location rotation and scale is default now we're gonna use this variable and compose the transforms to this hierarchy so we will start from root and uh, we will start from foot r for example and then ends at the root bone for example at frame 0 we will start from foot r and ends at the hierarchy root and create the component and uh, create the transform from local to component space that will be our root in our root bone I hope you get my point and after that we will set up this variable like so so when we start for each loop with break we're gonna search for each of the bone and if the bone is not equal to the root which means our hierarchy not ends and we're gonna compose the transform and set the transform like so and when at frame 0 
our root bones our hierarchy ends we're gonna break the loop and from our loop completed I'm gonna first let's create a add curve add float curve add curve like so animation sequence will be this the curve chain will be sync sync curve the float uh, curve type will be float and after that we're gonna when our loop completed we're gonna add float curve keys like so and the animation sequence will be this the curve name will be our sync time will be for getting time I'm gonna get my index and search for get time at frame frame will be this animation sequence will be this and the time is set up now for the value I'm gonna grab my transform variable split the struct pin split the location struct pin and the value will be our x-axis for example when I click the foot R bone sorry the value will be our y-axis so here is our y-axis that moves forward and backwards so our y-axis will give the result so I'm gonna add the value of y so here is our animation modifier setup now let's quickly apply the result over here like so so here you guys can see I have created my sync curve here and this this is really smooth curve like so let's edit the curve and here you guys can see when my value of curve is getting positive side to negative side for example here is the value is positive and when our value is become negative which means that our foot bone crosses the root bone let's debug our hierarchy so at this region our foot position is positive and when our foot position start become negative which means our foot crosses the root bone and we're gonna place the sync marker over here and similarly for our left foot so for adding the sync marker I'm gonna I'm gonna create a branch over here and the condition will be get my transform split the struct pin like so and when my very uh, value of y is greater than 0 if the value is greater than 0 like so we're gonna do nothing because when our value start become negative then we're gonna place the foot sync marker over here so when our value is greater than 0 we're gonna do nothing and at the false case we're gonna set do once do once and add sync animation sync marker like so animation sequence will be this mark 
and the notify track will be this so marker name will be our right foot like so so here is we define that when our value is less than zero we're gonna do once and add the animation sync marker at that frame and when our value is greater than zero we're gonna reset this blue ones now like so now let's quickly apply the result so here you guys can see I think there is something wrong in our blueprint let's quickly search so here is time is zero because we have not applied the time here for applying time I'm gonna copy these nodes over here and paste it over here at the current frame what is the time and then I'm gonna apply the animation modifier like so so here you guys can see I have my right foot notifier applied over here so here is the at frame 0 we're gonna create the notifier we're gonna place the right foot sync marker so for this I'm gonna quickly add a branch over here and search for if my frame if my current frame is not equal to 0 so if my frame is equal to 0 then don't place the foot sync marker at frame 0 and after that we're gonna place the foot sync marker so here you guys can see I have one foot sync marker created over here like so now let's duplicate all of the functionality for our left foot I'm gonna copy all of my nodes and paste it over here and when our loop ends from here we're gonna start loop again and search for the foot L sync markers like so and instead of right foot we're gonna create left foot animation sync marker let's apply the result and here you guys can see I have created my right foot and left foot sync markers properly let's open our run forward animation and apply the same result over here and here you guys can see I have also created right foot and left foot sync marker over here and similarly you can apply the same Put uh, same animation modifier to each of the animation and your notifiers will be created automatically so i hope you guys like this video don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and also you can support me on patreon thank you guys